Hola, mi nombre es Eduardo Zambrano, and this is my story. Hello everyone, I'm Nicholas Cruz with Amerigold for Media Relations and today I'm joined by Edward Zambrano who plays for Venezuela. Edward, tonight we got to see a little bit of you in action. You know Juan who's been fantastic coaching, really being a strong leader. And I know how important the upcoming Latin American Cup is for you from Amerigold. So let's get to know you a little bit better, Edward. You know, for, for me, I find your, interest, your story a little bit interesting. You're from Venezuela. So how did you come to like hockey? What, how did it start for you? Yeah, I was uh, interested in uh, start because I tried with five years old. I remember uh, play soccer. Also in Venezuela, we play a lot of baseball. So I tried to play a few different sports, but I never find the correct sport for me. Uh, and I guess I was 10 years old. Uh, I remember I saw a hockey game in Maracaibo. That is a city from Venezuela and was very interesting. I can so and remember my friends playing together, a good fraternity, also like a family. Everybody played as a team, and that made the difference. Was uh, the, from the first moment, was very, very uh, happy. So when you get that inspiration to play hockey and then you're like you're even mentioning you're looking at soccer because even from my family from Colombia you know we come from Latin American of countries sure. and soccer is number one for us okay. so when we think about how hockey is so different it's such a fun sport to play when you go out on the ice let's say even say tonight when you're playing what's that feeling like for you when you play hockey and you're able to represent your national team well it's very different because I remember when I started playing like you told me soccer I remember was 10 kids in the, uh, in the stadium and I remember my first game, uh, my team won and I never touched the, the ball. <laughs> but then I saw a hockey game and everybody played together, playing at the same time, everybody coming out, coming in and I played like a team and everybody was enjoying the game. So that made the difference for me in the first moment. So, again, it's just so interesting to hear your story because we hear this often a lot of the times from, like, non-hockey countries. But now that you played in the tournament, you've gotten to see what it's like to be with your team members that play for, you know, the ice hockey team for Venezuela. Yeah. What's that relationship like? Do you feel that friendship, that family every time you guys meet up for practice? For me, it's a family. Uh, it's my first priority. I come from for this country alone, by myself, without father, mother, any family, um, this sport made me happy every day. Uh, it's, it's easy for me. If I can play hockey, I, I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm more if it's for my country. I can feel a lot of passion and a lot of pride, which I find so wonderful about you, Edward. It's, it's incredible to, to be, get to see this, especially now that, we, again, we have the Latin American Cup coming up. Yeah. And I'm sure, are you, are you excited for the tournament coming up? Of course, I'm practicing almost every day in the ice. Also, I'm going to the gym every day. For me, it's something personal. I don't care uh, another thing, another person. Just is for me and for my country. So when do we continue to see growing the game? You know, we have the hashtag hockey is for everyone. Yeah. Hockey is a pero todos. We have all these big hashtags and you are a testament to that. You tell your story, you shared with us your story of how important that is. So when you see more countries are joining the tournament, like Argentina, Brazil, you know, just to name a couple big name teams, how does that feel for you to see these other non-hockey non countries to join in? Do you feel some happiness to see that the game is growing? Of course, and I feel very proud of my country because uh, we are growing together uh, as another countries, and that made me feel really happy when I can so see uh, a kid with five, nine, ten years old enjoying my sport, enjoying this this beautiful dream, and that made the difference. I can help somebody 
uh, with that age and see how that person improve. Okay. So now we're going to switch this over to you. I want you to give you to look at this camera here. Yeah. If you can give some advice to the next generation of hockey players, whether they're kids, whether they're other Venezuelans that are watching the games, yeah. what is your message to them? And instead of saying it in English, I want you to say it in Spanish. Yeah. Eh, primero, siempre crean en ustedes mismos. Todo es posible. Eh, nunca se rindan. Eh, simplemente hagan valer todo el esfuerzo que ustedes pueden hacer el día al día y no se preocupen por lo que pueda pasar, que siempre van a tener la mejor oportunidad. Well, Edward, thank you so much. Gracias por la noche en entrevista. You know, this is such a wonderful time to see how important it is to grow the game. So if you're watching this, make sure you're following us on our social media. Make sure you're following Edward and everyone from Team Venezuela. But don't go away. We have more interviews coming up. We got a message here from the president of the Venezuelan ice hockey team. He's got some messages about tonight. We're also got Edward's goal on camera. So we're going to look at that as well here coming up in our next spotlight. Miked up here and telling the story. Stick around.